Grand rising to my king, queen, gods, and goddesses. You know who it is. Your boy Terrible Warren Stock. Gotta break it down to the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Now, look, disclaimer, general reading. Take it if it resonates for you. If it do, hit that like, comment, subscribe, and share button. Now, if it don't, I may not be the reader for you, okay? Now, with that basically being said, Virgo, Virgo, the title of this one, they pushing you away, and now they want you back. I think they done messed up big time, okay? Now, the current energy when I was doing the uh, channeling and getting a lot of downloads, I feel like some, some people or some women have been pulling back. This could be you, or this can be the other party becoming a little bit more distant, okay? But I I feel like some of you may understand or start seeing the behavior or patterns in a person to make your red flag stand up, okay? Now, someone may be uh, having you in a, like a third party or a side person situation. I don't want to say a side piece situation. It is what it is. It may be a side piece situation. So some people may be having you distant, but then again, be giving you, uh, maybe coming in and out on you, Virgo, or the energy or the patterns may be off. Now, uh, I feel like the love that you give them, though, Virgo, they are very scared of it. I feel like you could be dealing with... Uh, um, I want to say Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I can also see Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, okay? That's been very heavy on the energy. Now, not only that, but I feel like the love you give, it really scared them because they never felt a type of love like this before. Virgo, I feel like when you come around and be around this person, like, your energy is just so pure and so, so abundant and so stable and so charming and so suave and just so Virgo, right? Not only that, but they may be scared of the opportunity because they may feel like it's too real to be true. So Virgo, some of you may need to have patience. Or then again, some of you may need to know what to go. We'll find out later on in a reading. Now, uh, someone may be putting you second, Virgo. That's why your red flags may be coming up. Uh, Virgos, I know you're an act of service, so I feel like you're not be giving, uh, you are not able to give your act of service, but when you do, it's not the way that you want to. It feel like your cup is not being filled all the way up. Or uh, the energy may not be reciprocated the way that you expected, okay? Now, tap into your energy and recode your life, Virgo. Hey, what this basically saying is, hey, if they don't want you around or they're acting like that, you still got to go with your flow. You still got to live with your life. You still got to go down your destiny. You still got to go down your path because when you change your own reality, you change your mindset. When you change your mindset, you bring and manifest things to come to you, okay? So now, but you also got to be aware of the signs as well. Now, use your tent into, ooh, excuse me. Use your intuition to plan ahead, Virgo. Get out of that comfort zone, okay? Stay positive with the mixed emotions that you may be having because it can block your manifestation or it can block your third eye, okay? Now, um, walk by faith, not by sight. It's time to get out of logic, Virgo. Mo normally, most of the time, we like to walk in logic and you may be breaking your... Um, your manifestation just a little bit or hindering it. So it's time for you to get out your mind and start walking with your heart. Okay. Keep planting the seeds because victory is on your way. Okay, Virgo. So with that basically being said, let's go ahead and get into the reading. Spirit guys and the universe. I just want to thank you right now for every Virgo that comes in. Cross watcher, new viewer, new watcher, cross watcher, A1 day one. Please lead them and got them the right way. Anything that's not for them, we push that out. Everything coming in for the highest good. If anybody wish any negativity, witchcraft, or any harm told them, we're going to return that back the center. I say, I say, I mean. Okay. Now, Virgo, you already know what we do. Let's go ahead and breathe in this positive energy and exhale out all that negative, baby. Okay. There we go. Breathe in. Positive energy, Virgo. And exhale all the worry, all the stress, all the drama, anything that don't suit you. Again, breathe in. And now, Virgo. One more time. Breathe in all the positive energy for your highest good. And exhale out all the negativity and all the stress. All right. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Let's go ahead and see what your main energy is. What's going on, okay? The spirit guys in the universe. What is the main energy for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. What else do we have for Virgo? Sun, ooh, okay. I shame. 
All right, Virgo, the main energy that we have right now is the Five of Swords basically being upright, okay? So I feel like mentally and logically, you may be going through some type of struggle, uh, maybe because it's dealing with, um, probably with the downloads, if you receive some of the downloads, if it resonates for you. But I feel like some type of conflict may be going on inside your head, or somebody may be sending communication dealing with some type of chaos, okay? But it is clarified by the Two of Swords basically being in reverse, the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Uh, this is a lot of every... Uh, no, excuse me, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini energy. So this is more uh, mental, logical thinking as well as that. But let's get on into it. So I feel like with the two of swords basically being in reverse, I feel like some chaos or somebody may be trying to deceive you or manipulate you, but it's coming and it's dealing with you building uh, trust with you, okay, Virgo? Not only that, but I feel like you're starting to see everything that's going on, but right now, whatever news is not, it's not coming in or you're not expressing yourself the way that you want to, because right now, I feel like it may be some type of blockages what's going on, okay? Now, not only that, Virgo, I feel like it may be some people around you you may not need to be telling your information around to at all right now, okay? But I feel like whoever this is, and we're going to break this down a little bit more, okay? Now, I feel like you've been turning your back on some people or someone may have turned their back on you, even though things may be um, not chaotic because it's not chaotic. I feel like I mentally struggle because with the two of swords basically being in reverse, it is letting me know that it may be some type of choices, uh, some type of uh, understanding that you need to need to see, Virgo, okay? Uh, I feel like it's two sides to a story. I feel like right now, um, you're doing your part or you may be playing your side the way how you want to be, but you want to go into a, a crossroad with this person or a challenge that you're not seeing the right way, okay? Or somebody may be trying to be using some very very decisiveness tactics, tactics or trying to be very deceptive, okay? But it is dealing with a partnership, okay? It could be dealing with a job trying to use you and trying to get a beneficial gain or it can be a person that's around you using you the same way, Virgo. But I feel like you've been trying to put stability in this partnership or you've been trying to collaborate. You've been trying to not only expand out, I feel like you've been trying to put a higher intuition on this and I feel like not only higher intuition i feel like you uh been getting through it by trying to watch something funny or you may have been getting through this uh what's going on this deception is because it's been happening for a minute so i feel like you are trying to get the get through this by building trust with this person or some type of capability because it could be dealing with a child as well you see the baby up in there as well but now when i also see this i feel like it's something that uh you want to feel like is well done or some type of jo uh job well done or some type of trust that you want but somebody's deceiving you okay take it as it resonates but again with the page of swords basically being in reverse it's also letting them know something's going to be coming up to the surface maybe some type of secrets are being revealed or something is going on that you need to see. So that's why I said pay attention to the red flags, okay, Virgo? Let's get some clarification. Spirit God and the universe, what do we have for Virgo? Someone rising up, no demand. You know what, Virgo? We're gonna keep that, we're gonna keep that one. We're gonna keep that one. Cause I wanna see what's going on. Spirit told me to put them back. Let's see what else. Okay. Spirit guys in the universe, what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus? I'll show you. We're just going to go through all of them. All right. They keep popping out. Spirit got a lot of energy, a lot of things to say, Virgo, okay? So we're going to go ahead and break it down. Okay. Now, with this chaos that's going on, somebody being deceptive or somebody trying to uh, manipulate you, right? Even with this uh, page, of, uh, page of swords basically being in reverse, again, somebody's being manipulative. Somebody is trying to come in and trying to probably probably do a little give and take. Somebody probably trying to ghost you or a gaslight you now, but you got to keep a wrong, sharp mind. You got to keep your mind focused, okay? Mentally and logically, you got to start back over, even though with this chaos and go in between the lines of what's going on. Because even though you're trying to build trust with this person, I feel like somebody needs to take the initiative action, right? To keep pushing forward. Not only that, I feel like you got that vision to see what's going on, and but something's going to come to the surface. You need to realize your intentions, or you may feel like you've been having dangers or not doing nothing because it's hard for you to express what you want to say, or maybe somebody's not letting you say that, but I feel like even with the devil card basically being in reverse, I feel like it's something that you're hanging on to for a little too long. It's something that you're resisting, and it may be some, some the person may be toxic, or it may be something toxic within the circle, so you can't express, so that's why you need to express yourself. But Spirit also want me to tell you with the uh excuse me 
with the Wheel of Fortune card that this cycle is being complete. So maybe some of you are moving on. Maybe some of you are moving towards better waters, okay? Not only that, you are born to create, okay? So I feel like right now, even though in your manifestation board, I feel like you may need to go back and see what's going on, okay? Now, um, I feel like when I see this dragon, I feel like it's very hard skin or very tough, tough skin to get through this person uh, emotionally. But I also feel like you may be cracking the egg or you may be being more intuitive on what's going on inside your mind to get through this struggle and get through this chaotic situation. Okay, Virgo? Not only that, I feel like the expansion that you're taking and the choices of being more intuitive or being more balanced is creating your phoenix to rise. So you could be having a uh, Sagittarius or Aries and your son, uh, in your chart. Not only I was gonna say in your son, but it could be in your rising. That's what I basically want to say. So I feel like you are shedding old skin, Virgo, uh, from whatever conflict that has been taking place, and I feel like you are moving more forward. Now, mentally, you are putting yourself in a better positive sp state of mind. So I just want to say, Virgo, you on the right track, but whoever is trying to do this, you still need to keep your uh, sharp mind and release that fear of being alone and release that fear of not uh, of being able to express yourself, Virgo, because if you can't stand for yourself and look inside the mirror and be real with you, how can you be real with anybody else? Okay, Virgo, I'm just keeping it 100 with you. That's just how we're just going to do it today, okay? Now, let, let's go ahead. Let's get a romance message, too, since this is dealing with a partner. Spirit guys in the universe. They just sticking on me today. So we're just going to rock with it, okay? So I feel like, uh, Virgo, it's time for you to be uh, independent. I feel like you're more independent because this is called dependency, but it's in reverse. So I take reverses like the negative side of it or the dark side of it. N nothing's never negative in the world. Addictions are affecting your romantic life, okay? So I feel like some of you may be indulging yourself in alcohol or this person may be indulging themselves either with work or because we know to do that too, Virgo, or it could be indulging themselves too much in drugs or not, uh, or indulging themselves too much of being in the fantasy part of a person putting them on a pedestal, okay? But again, with this chaos, you got to realize and see what it really is and what's going on through this lifetime, okay, for you, Virgo. But I do feel like more, I'm, I'm leaning more towards this person could be a karmic partner for you. Uh, and I also feel like thanks is what's going on for you, Virgo, because um, it's a main challenge. I feel like you may be feeling like things are bored in the situation or something may came to surface or this person just may not have been loyal or the way that it posed to be at the beginning, okay? Because we got the hangman up right. So I think it's time for you to make some type of sacrifice, Virgo, or you need to start surrendering, okay? Because um, it's clarified by the four of cups, six of pentacles, and the justice. So that basically let me know. I feel like like even though you are walking and you are being more intuitive, right? You are still expanding. You are start going more into higher learning. You are uh, asking spirit to guide you. Even though things may be bored of not only temporary flat or stuck, but I feel like emotionally with your emotions, I feel like the way intuitively, the way how you may be thinking is more stability, but I feel like you're not wanting for anything. But not only that, I feel like you're starting to uh, look more, intuitive, uh, more intuitively or you more trying to stable of the harmonizing point of you being more stable. Now, you start to do a little give and take in a situation that you need to start looking at, Virgo. You need to start looking at both sides of a story. I feel like if it... Um you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Now, uh, take it as it resonates. Now, only what I also see, I feel like someone may be trying to breadcrumb you, Virgo, uh, and that may be a challenge. That's why I said pay attention to the red flags. But I feel like even with justice, again, Gemini or... Um, I see real strong Gemini in this. I feel like logically, whatever the consequences that this person is taking, now they are suffering for it, okay? Not only from them suffering, Virgo, I feel like even though they was probably bored and flat, okay? I feel like you were still giving a give and take, but I feel like your challenge is you got to still surrender yourself to find out better ways about you, okay? Don't put, don't leave your heart on your sleeve. Don't put people on a pedestal because if they've done wrong to you, they're going to receive that karma, okay? So you got to keep pushing and keep moving. Let's let's keep moving. Spirit guys in the universe, what else do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus? Virgo, Spirit guys, what, what else do we have for Virgo? Mm -hmm. Can I get one more? I'll take that one. I'll shake. But yeah, Virgo, this is what I'm seeing right now. I feel like 
right now, even though things are being uh, kind of bored and kind of stuck, right? Because even though you're making this sacrifice, even though it may seem like you're bored or, or somebody was bored with you, but you are manifesting, Virgo, okay? This is your energy. I feel like you are growing and you are starting to look at more of both sides because when you see the magician card, this has got every... It got the pinnacle, it got the wands, it got the swords, it got the cup, it got everything. So I feel like you are uh balancing yourself to for this new uh for this new cycle or this new opportunity that you take on a daily basis, okay? Still you starting to give a daily more look insight on a give and take situation. Not only that, Virgo, with the King of Cups basically being in reverse, you gotta watch out and don't be out of control, okay? Don't feel like you're vulnerable in a situation or not gaining an opportunity because whoever done this to you or whatever is going on, they're going to receive their justice, okay? So even though you may feel like you're a little stressed out because you've been putting in a lot of work, you've been doing a lot of movement, you've been doing a lot of growth, but Spirit want me to tell you, still stay in tune with Spirit. You're almost at what you need to be at, okay? You're still humping through the lines. You're still doing everything that's right. Not only that, Virgo, you also need to see yourself in nature and I feel like that's what you're not doing. You're not seeing yourself in nature and that may be something that can help you therapeutically. We are very more in tune in being in nature Virgo if uh, we like to ground. If not, get your uh your birth crystal stone, which is emerald, okay? Everybody want to know what this bracelet is. It's crisp, It's a crystal, uh, it's an emerald bracelet, but it got our sign on it, okay? It got Virgo sign on it. Now, not only that, Virgo, let's keep on pushing. Let's get some more messages to go in with this also. Spirit, what we got also? Now, I feel like you need to start loving yourself more, okay? Even though you being intuitive and you working on this high goal for you and you are working very, very hard to be more intuitive, you're working very very hard to be the spiritual being that you are, but you may need to take a time out and start loving yourself more often, okay, Virgo? Or oh, I feel like when this person turn around, whoever done whatever they done to you, Virgo, I feel like even when they facing their karma, you still gotta love yourself and just go ahead and get through the pain. Okay, Virgo, it's a cycle. We go through this a lot, baby, so you already know how we get through it, okay? Spirit guides and the universe, what else do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus? You already know what is some of the guidance, but I believe in you, Virgo. You can get through anything that you get through because that's who you are. Okay. Now the main energy for you, uh, six of cups, basically being in reverse. Okay. So I feel like it do not. It's something that you can avoid the chaos. If it's not suiting you or it's for your highest good, let it go, okay? It's time for you to take control back in your life, okay? Ain't spirit guides and angels are right there waiting on you to give them commands, okay? But it's not, you can't just say, go do it. You got to say with love and be very genuine. Even though you are starting to be more con uh, controlling in your walk, you need to stand firm and stand on solid foundation while you are on this walk, okay? Time to put yourself back in action. Time to get refounded into your higher cause, okay? Because intuitively, even though your spirit guides, ancestors, you got so many options for you, Virgo, and it's helping you with your emotions intuitively. You are starting to become more ma uh, masterful or being more of a master of your emotions, okay? You're being very, very empathic and in tune and you can, and you can tap into a lot of things, okay? Not only that, you can see people and see how they operate and see how they walk. You got to find detail and analytics, Virgo, to see how people really really operate and i feel like you see it but you just don't want it to be so so spirit guys in the universe what else do we have for virgo sun moon rising north node and venus i say let's see what else we got virgo so i feel like even though you're trying to control your energy back to growth right okay uh you still need to take take the time to look for the warnings, okay? Even though you got options and everything going on, you got to watch for the people that's bitter. You got to keep your shield up and keep your guard up until you know what's going on because this person can be a master of emotions, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, basically what I'm saying, this person know how to use your emotions against you, okay? And this could be a potential karmic or a lover. Uh, you can get more balance in the situation, but intuitively, you got to see even with your emotions about the duality because if it's not working out for you, it's okay to let that go, okay, Virgo? Not only that, I feel like you need to have more faith in your walk, okay? Have more faith in the divine. Have more faith in God. Have more faith into the heart part of the aspect of what you can't see and start turning it into 
into reality, okay? Because one thing about Virgos, you can turn whatever you manifest into reality, especially the people who have 22 in your chart. You're the master builder. Take it as it resonates. Not only that, it's time for you to trust in yourself again. Continue to manifest on the things that you need. So what? If it didn't work back, work right the way that it need to be, go to the manifestation board. If it's not, I feel like the challenge is for you also. This is a past life relationship. You've been knowing each other before. So I feel like even with the sacrifice that you are making, you may have to sacrifice this one on this time because something may be coming in better for you if it's not suitable for you, okay? But I feel like even again, you need to trust back into yourself. Trust back into the magic. Do not put people on pedestals. And Spirit also want me to tell you right now that past life relationship may be a karmic because you're calling in your soulmate. So all of this is being basically said that everything that you're doing in life, you are doing it abundantly very, very well, okay? And I feel like even though when things fall out of place, you got to forgive me right now. I'm going to leave that right now. I feel like even while you avoiding these issues, Spirit want me to tell you it's time to clean your temple. It's time to clean your house, okay? Now, um, not only that, I'm going to leave that right there until we get eye cleaning in a second because Spirit want me to... Spirit want me to tell you with them answers right there, it's like you really be in that rising phoenix, okay? Even with the 10, um, a 10 of one basically being in reverse, I feel like things are starting to lighten up for you. And this is the uh, dealing with fire in your placement. I feel like things are lightening up very much and things going to be okay for you, okay, Virgo? So with that basically being said, let's go ahead and pull all random today. So, okay, we're going to work on fearlessness today, okay? Abhaya Mudra, and this is number 10. So I feel like this is a new cycle and a new beginning. Again, 10, 10 could be uh, an angel meaning number for you as well. This assists you in safety curve. And steadfastness reduces anxiety, supports elimination, oh, excuse me, cultivates a sense of fearlessness and grounding. Hold right hand slightly cup at shoulder height, palm facing outward, allow the right elbow to fall close to the waist. Now, this is what you say my courage and self assurance is unwavering. My courage and self assurance is unwavering. Well, Virgo, if you like this, you know what to do. Hit the like, comment, subscribe button just to close it out. No matter what challenges or chaos that you may be going through, time to make that sacrifice and don't avoid the challenge of what's going through, okay? Even though uh, you may be codependent on some type, uh, somebody may be codependent on drugs or anything that you, uh, whatever it is, your suitable preference, you may need to take a fast for a moment. Sacrifice, even though it may be a past life relationship, uh, some, some contracts are meant for a season, some contracts are meant for a lifetime, but every contract that we go into is meant for a learning lesson, so you you may learn that lesson. Now, don't avoid the issues. Believe in yourself. Have faith in yourself. Your new soulmate is coming in. But also, when it comes to this divine counterpart, just master your emotions and everything else to come into play. So with that basically being said, Virgo, peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. I love you, baby. God love you, baby. The universe definitely love you. Just make sure you love yourself. That's the most important thing that we go by on this channel. Peace, love, light, light, love, peace. So I see y'all beautiful souls till the next time. Yeah.